Hello everyone, my name is Faye Ann Lee and I'm a technical marketing engineer. Welcome to Cisco's SD Access channel where we share updates on the features and technologies of Cisco's SD Access solution. In this brief video, I'm going to talk about a feature called Critical VLAN. Critical VLAN was introduced to address the situation when the fabric edges are unable to reach the configured radius servers due to some outage such as a WAN outage. During this outage, authentications are not possible for newly connecting endpoints. This feature creates a fallback VLAN so that endpoints can successfully onboard and receive some level of access. This access can be restricted by policies that you define. Here's how the feature works. When a new user connects, the switch starts the authentication process. If the switch receives no response from the RADIUS server, then the switch will automatically place the user into the critical VLAN or VLAN 2047 during the outage. As mentioned, ACLs or SGTs can be used to limit the user's access. If there's voice traffic involved, there is a critical VLAN for voice traffic as well, and that is VLAN 2046. When the background radius services detect the radius servers back online, the switch will initiate a re-authentication. And as a result of successful authentication, the user will then gain full network access now that he or she is a authorized user. Okay, I'm going to show you a brief demonstration of Critical VLAN so that you can see the feature in action yourself. To get started with Critical VLAN, we first need to enable the functionality. The feature is enabled per fabric. So I'm going to go ahead and enable Critical VLAN by clicking this banner. So the next step is to associate an IP pool with the Critical VLAN functionality. Now, Critical VLAN is applied to both date, uh, data and voice traffic. So we'll actually need two IP pools, one for data and one for voice. In this demonstration, I'm going to focus on data only since I don't have a voice setup. The critical VLAN functionality is associated with a particular VN. In my case, I want to associate critical VLAN with my user VN. So I select my user VN and now I'll start selecting my IP pool. I've selected my IP pool and I would like to use SGT based enforcement for to filter community filter communications from any users in the critical VLAN during the outage. So I'm going to associate these users with the critical SGT. Now this pool that I'm configuring is associated with data traffic. And the most important configuration is this checkbox here, which associates the pool with the critical functionality for data traffic. I'll go ahead and add that and save my configuration. Okay, so I'm going to jump to my switch. And as you can see here in the background, this message right here, this is DNA Center configuring the data VLAN for critical SGT fun or critical VLAN functionality. This is DNAC doing this in the background as a result of the configuration that I just did. And what I'm bringing up here are two users. Now both of you, these users are connected to the network as you currently, as you can see, and they're both passing traffic. I am using these two users to demonstrate the critical VLAN functionality. So this particular user is connected to port one, and I'm going to use this user to represent a user 
who's previously authenticated and connected to the network prior to the outage, the AAA server outage. Now, what we expect with this particular user is this user should be, remain unaffected by the AAA outage. And then I have this second client here connected to port three. And what I'm going to do with this client is remove the client from the network and actually attempt to have this client reconnect while my radius server is out. So before we get there, so I brought the port down. This user uh, was able to ping 200.240. prior to shutting down the interface. And what I'm going to do right now is bring down ICE by taking it off the network. And I'm going to try to re-authenticate this user while my ICE server is down. You can see the port went up. This user in the background is authenticating. And as we can see here, the switch has noted that the AAA server is down. And as a result, it invoked the critical VLAN functionality for data VLAN, which is VLAN 2047 and has assigned the SGT of critical SGT. So now this user should be connected to the network, but rather than, but now is associated with the policies that are associated with the critical SGT. I take a look at the connection details for this user on port three. We can see here, that this user is a doctor, failed authentication, thus was uh, placed on VLAN 2047 based on the critical VLAN functionality. And if I take a look at the policy that's associated with a critical VLAN or a critical SGT, I can see that the policy is to go ahead and limit access for the critical SGT with traffic sourced by anything with the SGT of three, which as you can see here, SGT three is my 200.240 IP uh, address, which is the address that my user was able to um, access prior to the outage, prior to getting associated with the critical SGT. And if I take a look at the hit counters for my policy, as you can see, the policy is being denied and those counters are incrementing. I'm gonna bring my user back, or my radius server back online. All right, so now what should happen is my switch should note that the radius server has come back online and subsequently re-authenticate any of the users that are in the critical VLAN. And this user, upon successfully authenticating, should regain the access that it had prior to the AAA server outage. And note here on port one, this is my user who's still unaffected by all the changes that have been going on. Okay, as you can see here, the switch brought down the critical VLAN functionality because the ICE server is reachable. My user is now able to 
access that uh, 200.240 server. And if I take a look at the connection details for my user on port 3, as you can see, it's no longer associated with um, VLAN 2047. It's actually on 1027, VLAN 1027. And it's got his SGT of 16, which is doctors, rather than the critical SGT. So it has full network access, as it did prior to the AAA outage. This concludes the demonstration. For more information, please check the links shown for our YouTube channel and our Cisco community site. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video.